to talk about like terms. Basically, ladies and gentlemen, some of you are probably more familiar with like terms than really understanding what exactly are like terms. Like terms are basically two or more terms with the same variable factor or factors. All right? So what exactly do I mean by variable factors? Well, we talked about factors, right? We talked about numbers that divide into one, right? We talked about like the number 12. That has many factors. If we look in the prime factorization, you could say 6 and 2, um, 3 and 2. We could write it down to its prime factors. 4 is also a factor, though, um, of 12 as well, right? 4 times 3. Um, so there's many factors that we could write for 12. There's a lot of numbers that evenly divide into it. Um, however, is there any variables attached with the number 12? No. no. But we could write it as x to the 0 power if we wanted to get kind of technical. x to the 0 power is just 1, so there'd be really no reason to kind of write it. But it does make sense, though, because if you think about this, the what I said is all of them have to have the same variable factors. So then could all numbers be written as x to the 0 power? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we do could technically say they all have x to the 0 power as their variable factor. Does that kind of make sense? Yes? OK. So when we look at, let's look at prime factorization of 12 x squared. All right? Basically, ladies and gentlemen, when we're doing this, we're doing it like the exact same thing, just like we would do numbers. If I was going to factorize, if I was going to prime factor this, I could do 3 times 2. I could do 2 times 2. Or I could do the 6 times 2 again if I wanted to. But then we want to prime factor x squared. Well, x squared can be broken down into x times x. So the factors, the variable factors for this is going to be x times x, or x squared, right? So that means if they, the only other like terms that I can combine this with are ones that have x squared as its variable factors. Make sense? So if I gave you another variable factor, so an example, some like terms would be 12x squared and 2 x squared, because they both have x squared. Does that make sense? Okay. However, some non-examples, if I did 5x squared and 3x, this one has x times x, where this one only has 1x. So the variable factors are not the same. So therefore, these are not like terms. And the last example, JT, the last non-example is a little bit more an obvious one. 5x squared, y squared. Obviously, those are not even the same variables. So you guys can be pre pre pretty obvious that, yeah, those don't have the same variable factors. Just remember, variable factors have to have not only the number, well, they actually the number is irrelevant. The, it's all about the variable factors. So if you have two numbers, that's obviously you're good. If you have an x squared, you have to have another x squared. If you have an x to the fifth, you have to have another x to the fifth for them to be like terms. If they have different variable factors, they're not like terms. And obviously, if they have different variables altogether, they're not like terms. Make sense? Very basic, but a lot of students.